Right, so, welcome to the Eco Arcade Super Shed. Some of you remember this from a few years ago, when we were making those things. Um, going to repurpose it, because, well, Nintendo uh going after people making arcade machines, and I can't be arsed of that hassle. Um, but also, I realised while being on lockdown, I want to be able to do product photography and stuff. I don't really got space in back at the house uh, but I've still got this this land but I'm thinking having a little keeping this little bit here and selling the table saw and everything that's all got that's all going by the time you see this video which has opened up all this space here so I'm thinking you know I keep a few basic I keep those two tools there um, get rid of the table saw again and then I'm thinking maybe put in like just all the way across here a, a a, a platform if you will and lots of lights in the ceiling and things and new product photography because obviously i can't always work with people because of my speech stuff like so i don't do vlogs as often because i can't physically talk some days um i have to just make them as and when like today um but yeah i'm thinking i'm going to take this out completely that's why I've been empty. That's why it's tipping here because I'm empty. I'm sorting out what I'm chucking and what I'm keeping. Take this out. Put uh, basically a bench all the way across. And uh, I've got to finish the up here. This this has all got to be insulated with this stuff, which is double sided um, insulation that goes there like that with a 50 mil gap at the top. So it'd be slightly thicker than this. Um, all the way down, but I need to take this out first. Then I can put take this away, put the insulation in. Um, I'm going to put a few vents. There's going to be one in the corner, one somewhere around here, and one in that corner um, to let the air flow through. And that should help with, especially in winter, it's freezing in here. Um, I've you know several jumpers while I was working before uh, working, you know, messing about before. Um, but it should also make it a nice, you know, not too hazy for the cameras when I'm using, when I'm doing product photography, you know? That's the idea. So get rid of this, go and get the installation ordered, and I'll see you in a sec. There we are, so there's a vent there, and a vent here. Uh, just let the air through. It doesn't have to look neat up there because this is all going to be covered up, of course. Um, so that should let the air flow through in the corners, because these these bits of open bits here are going to be covered up with the insulation which is the next job somebody whose number ends in 762 you've got it well done Lou Sainer's drinking tea and painting a fence in Hocknall sounds beautiful loving the tunes he says hello Lou welcome to you okay that's all the wall insulation done with recycled um Polystyrene. Um, this is from a large packet of a roo sample we got sent. Um, cut it up, coated both sides with, uh, you know, it's got some spray adhesive, coated both sides with tin foil, and then uh, it's in there. Hey, and obviously, leaving there's a gap that big, air gap behind between the polystyrene and the outer wall. Let some air flow through. Um, yeah, all I gotta do now is order. The roof stuff and that is the shed near enough done we've just got this front wall and there's a panel there that hasn't got anything in and I've got some polystyrene left up here so I'll use that to fill this bit and that bit just there and uh, yeah hopefully it won't be ridiculously hot in the summer and uh, ridiculously cold in the winter in theory Okay, and day 15 or something, I don't know. Um, 
we've uh, we've done we've done the actual roof, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go to follow mode. Give me a second. That's better. We've done the roof, um, as you can see. Um, you know, just some just some thin NDF just to cover up the things, um, cover up the uh, actual panels. And we've just got a bit of tidying and stuff to do in here. Um, started on that, done that side last night, and then obviously we've got this side here. So, two-player arcade machine I still haven't finished. <laughs> um, so we've got to get all that lot packed away. Then in here, what I'm going to do actually is in here. There's lots of old kitchen units and things that I was going to use for eco arcades, and they've just been sat there for about two years now. So I'm just going to chuck them along with. <laughs> All the stuff out here, which is just crazy. Yeah, <laughs> this is all from. Uh, that's all from t from doing this, tidying this place up. It's absolutely crazy, but you know, it's it is what it is, and we uh, deal with things as and when we can. I suppose you know um, that's all you can do. Um, speaking of all we can do. I do want to thank everybody um, that's shown so much support these last few these last few days. It's been incredible. Uh, you all know who you are. I'm not asking for your permission to say your name, so I'll, I'll put a, thing, a Facebook post up here with, and blank out the names if I remember. Uh, but I just put a post up about me doing this, and it's taken me. You know, normally I'd say an able-bodied person would probably do this. You know, in a day, probably maybe day and a half. And um, this has taken me. Uh, well over a week, well, a week and a half, really, just an hour here, an hour there, as and when I feel up to it. The thing about my um, PTSD and uh, all, the, all the associated stuff comes with it, my, my main symptoms are um, just random bouts of exhaustion and confusion. Like, if I concentrate or do stuff for too long, I start dropping stuff, or, you know, like, I'll put a, I'll put a cup down thinking I'll put it on the table here, and I'll just put it, and I'll, in my brain I've put it down there, but I'll put it there and then let go and it just drops down, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I'll put a little post of that positivity that I carried on regardless, and I got this bit done. And loads of people have gone, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how it should be, and well done, and, you know, it, putting quotes and things and saying that it was a very good message. So thank you to everybody for that. That's... Uh, that made my day, to be honest. I, I meant, mainly put it to try and, if anyone else has got mental health problems that falls me, I know a few, few of you have, to, you know, let you know that it's okay, that you're not feeling great, and, you know, just little steps as often as you can, and you get it done. And, yeah, everyone seemed to re reflect at me. Everyone seemed to reflect positively on that. Sorry, my speech is going. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. I think next job really is to obviously get this lot, all this out of the way. I think I plan to um, move all this wood here and maybe remove a section here and put it in there. And then what I'm going to plan, what I'm planning to do, hopefully this is what, the thing is I can't use the wide angle lens on my phone because of this gimbal, the, the back motor gets in the way. It's... Um, a shame really uh, but anyway I, what i was going to do is put a big flat piece of wood basically folding off on a hinge across here and then when i do photos i can just go and fold it out and it'll be like this big and it'll be a nice big area to you know do product photography with um maybe some scaffolding pole here to put lights on and things i don't know i'm kind of winging it really uh but yeah, let's, I guess let's go on with it, shall we? Many hours later. Ta-da! That's better. So that's all nice and clear, ready for doing electronics again. Um, I've uh, got my solder dryer up there. And I've also built a little shelf for uh, this. Um, a f family friend kindly donated this printer. It needed some work doing on it. I fixed it up. So I'm going to print my photos out here because it's got an SD card slot in there. So in theory, edit everything back at the office and when I come here I can just go blink and just print it off. It's way too big to put in my office because my office is tiny. Um, but yeah, I've um, 
put the table saw here now. It's, I was going to get rid of it. It was here um, on a extra piece of kitchen work surface, if you will. Um, and it was just taking up too much space, but I found I was only cutting like street wood and stuff on this anyway And anything big like sheet materials like like I don't know that for example, that's the photo of background by the way Hence the skanky wood um, Anything sheet materials I was doing out in the in the eco arcades garden there, which my wife has very kindly painted up for us um, That's on your screen right now Some nice plants and things and obviously a bottle opener because you know What's a meeting without a a bottle of cola? Yes, cola. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, everything's neat and tidy. Got rid of all the excess stuff from Eco Arcades. We've still got a load of unmade arcade machines down here, actually. <laughs> Which I may I may finish and just put on eBay or something, or give away competition prizes or something. Oh dear, that's bad light. I've got I'm holding a uh, film light, as you can tell, so I'm losing light here now. Um, I think I plan to put a team reflector symbol on the fence out there, spray painted. Um, so you got a background, so this could be a view for woodworking videos, and then this this is going to be a view for um, photography tutorials. So um, we're waiting for a roll, a um, couple of rolls of different coloured paper or card kind of stuff, a photo backgrounds basically that come that go onto the ceiling on some rollers and then come out like that. Um, and then the idea. Um, here is once I've got a bit more money together, once we're allowed to work again, uh, get a nice, I don't know, 10 mil thick, something like that. I don't know, mm, maybe five, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Some nice thick, like this kind of stuff, but a big sheet of it, two of them with a hinge in the middle, and it'll basically be like that, you know, just all the way across one piece. And then when I want a bigger work surface, go. Whoop, like that, and it'll just be a table like that. Click, 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 photo, 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 and then when I'm done, I can and fold it back, and it'll just be on that section, and then I can still walk around this bit. That's the idea, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. It's a lot warmer in here now. This is night time. Well, night time. The sun's still up. The the sunset's um, just out, just facing into the window here. So, hence the um, it's still relatively light, but yeah, it's a lot warmer in here now. Um, very, very, very pleased with this. And I'm pleased with myself, to be honest. So I managed to get a task and finish it. Which, you know, is always quite satisfying. <laughs> considering, you know, my medical stuff that comes along with everything. But that'll do for another video. A bit different to my normal ones. Um, hopefully, I've had a lot of requests on, you know, what's inside the shed so this is the stage we're at right now hopefully you enjoyed it um thank you for your all your support um on instagram and, and facebook and things it's it's yeah it it really kept me going <laughs> while my body was telling me i couldn't do this so um thank you appreciate it genuinely but until next time i've been moobit you have been awesome source and i'll see you in the next video Ciao. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your fing hands! I like to move it, move it, fit, fit, fit.